With digital 3D surround sound and other new technologies, the film industry has long been trying to make going to the cinema more of an immersive experience. Now an endeavour in London is bringing a new level of audience participation to watching movies. Al Maloney explains. Hello darkness, my old friend. Every month they gather from across the city. Film fans eager to have a night out that involves more than just the latest blockbuster and a box of popcorn. Told to meet at a tube station in London, they come in dressing gowns eager for information. We're here to see a film, we're here to go somewhere, but we don't really know exactly why we're here. These are the members of Secret Cinema, an online film club that believes in living as well as seeing the movie. We're admitting new patients today. Thank you. Keep walking. The twist is that no one knows why they're here, or at least what film they'll show. The program on which you're about to enroll is experimental and highly secret. And once they arrive at the appointed location, patrons are invited to experience and interact with the created world around them. And that can mean everything from dressing up in a doctor's lab coat to seeing the inside of a psychiatric patient's room. Nurse! Do you like some? Spiders! Because tonight, this derelict building has been transformed into Oregon State Hospital. The film is One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Actors wander the darkened corridors, never breaking character, before patrons, or patients, are finally able to sit down and watch the film. I think people just want something different. They want to they be shaken a little bit. I don't think, you know, traditional cinema will always be there, but I think this is perhaps another way of watching film. And it goes back to when it first started, when there was musicians in the cinema. And um, so I, th I think, yeah, people just are looking for something different. They're looking to engage with film in a different way. It's a sensory experience that's difficult to capture on film. And that's really the point. Secret Cinema offers an immersive experience that you get to see, hear, and even taste. Previous events have included classic movies like Blade Runner and Lawrence of Arabia. It's an alternative to the multiplex that arrived promising greater choice and better value for the consumer. People want something different and they, they want the kind of the, the heyday of the 70s, you know, the great, great films of Roman Polanski and Francis Ford Coppola. And, and I think that there's, there's too much commercial cinema. To say we sold 15,000 tickets um, to a film that we didn't actually tell people what it was, I think hopefully there's something in that. The emergence of the internet and the growth of the DVD market have seen the traditional cinema come under increasing pressure. But even those at the forefront of the push for 3D recognise that more is needed to keep an audience happy. Secret Cinema goes further even than 3D, hoping to foster a sense of community that allows those visiting to feel like they're part of something special. The group has already run events in New York and plans to launch in Berlin soon. It's aimed to create a social network across continents where different audiences are all watching the same film at the same time. The question is how long anything can remain a secret, especially when it has designs on the rest of the world. Please be assured that the Wellbeing Foundation has your health and happiness at its heart. Tell no one.